everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to another eventing vlog as you'll have seen from the title today we are going to Wellington it is Monday the 30th of August although you really wouldn't think it's August it's absolutely freezing it's so cold and I think I just felt some rain so that's great yeah summer hasn't really happened has it but anyway um, today is exciting because this is another novice event so have another go at this level hopefully the aim is to try and get a sub 40 dressage because she can do it uh, the thing is oh, i'm tired from walking up that hill in the field um i don't really get much footage of pizzazz schooling at home because there's never normally anyone here to film um but she is completely different at home she does the tests amazingly she does medium so easily she is really responsive really forward and then you get to a show and she's like a completely different horse so it's really hard to practice riding her how she is at a show because she's only like that when she's at a show so it's frustrating because you know she can do it but anyway we're gonna aim for a sub 40 because yeah she can do it but it is a trickier test than aston we've got leg yield in it as well on both reins the medium is down the long side both reins um but it'll be fine oh and we've got to walk <coughs> we've got to do a walk to canter which again at home like easy peasy for her but when she's being unresponsive at a show could be testing i'm just trying to get through the electric fence without getting a shock that is the aim for the dressage and then do not get eliminated at the end of the day <laughs> Would be an improvement on last time but cross country again it's more technical so it is a bigger step up hi Zazie so we'll have to see but hopefully it will go well it's a very civilized time it's nine o'clock right now and we're not leaving till probably about midday um I have super super late times which I'm not like a huge fan of I'd rather just get up and get going I don't go down the center line till gone four o'clock and my cross country isn't till 20 past six. So hopefully with this weather, it will still be nice and light. Anyway, I've just arrived. I'm gonna catch her and then I'll carry on talking. So yeah, a very sociable and civilized time to start the vlog in contrast to Aston when we were done by 10 o'clock um, or 10, anyway, I can't remember. But anyway, it's much later start today, which I'm not a fan of, but it's fine. It means that all the prep can be done this morning so she's not plaited she had a bath yesterday so she's been wrapped up overnight to try and keep her clean and yeah just plaiting up this morning some food, some more oats, some go faster juice, but it won't work. Just looking nice and shiny. So we get to plotting up, I think, Sazzy. Okay. You guys have seen me flat her up so many times, so I will save you the watching. Ready Zazzy? Three, two, one. guys appreciated that absolutely fantastic transition. Just as I try and do that absolutely a class transition, all the dogs started barking. But anyway, yeah, clap it in. I'm not really happy with them, but never mind, they will do. Um, it's still only 10 o'clock, so we have two hours till we need to leave. So I literally have nothing to do, but I can just chill. Go through my dressage test in my head, make sure I know it. Okay, how are you feeling? They're not too bad. So we have actually decided it is still the same day that me and Jay are going for a ride. Because we have so much time, hopefully we won't jinx it. I am on skew, so Zazie's full, although she's four. It's my second time ever riding her. And so we are going for safety as I am eventing later. We don't want anything to happen, but she's being a good girl so far. So we're just going for a plod around the woods because we have like two hours. Zazie's in her stable 
having a chill time, although she's not very happy that we've taken the ponies out. But yeah, it's a rare occurrence, Jay, that we ride before an event, isn't it? So that's what we've decided to do this morning. So, we have arrived and we just walked cross country. Um, it's very noisy because we're right by cross country warm up, as you can see. And Zazie's very happy. I've I filmed some of the fences, and yeah, it's quite technical, but it'll be alright. Just need to kick on. So, the time now, what's the time? I don't know. What time I don't know. Day. But anyway, we're going to get ready for dressage. Um, and it's quite a grey, it's still very cloudy. So, we're probably going to need, well, so noisy because we're right by the commentator, but we're ready to go. Jay's done the times, face is ready to go on, and Zazie is. So, gonna get on and walk around because she's been stood for a while, and as you can see, she's raring to go. But yeah, give her a stretch. dressage test it's novice 131 and I have left it all in which I hope you guys appreciate because yeah I hate watching them back for our centre line we got a 6.5 with our hold and everything yeah basically as you all know this is our worst face so it, it kind of frustrates me watching it back <laughs> never mind um, changing the ring then show some medium trot. We got six with needs more ground coverage, which is fair enough. And then we had to come up the centre line and leg yield left, which, as you'll see, didn't go too well. She was not 
listening to me at all and then we kind of just lost out at the end so we got a five which I thought was quite um, generous and then you had to do the same the other way up from C and then leg yield right and we got 5.5 so it was half a month better but yeah it's still not great I, I admit later on like these leg yields are not good then we had to do a three-dip serpentine which was our best mark which we got a 7-4 and you had to allow the horse to stretch on the first and second loops which because I was quite liked that I kind of let her go a bit longer because that's what she likes but I'm pleased with like how forward she is um oh yeah here I why did I do that why did I walk early a seven turn doesn't finish till C Millie so we've got five for that <laughs> so cross with myself when I watched it back I was like why did I do that and then we got 6.5 for her free walk but I am pleased like compared to Aston she is staying more forward so that's something um, and then medium walk 6.5 now coming up is the walk to canter that I was talking about earlier so I really wanted to make sure I had her forward here and thinking about it and I asked a bit early and we did get it at um, where are we met A where is it A yeah and then we're straight into a 15 meter circle and we got um, a 6 for this and then you had to show some medium which we also got a 6 for the comment first rise and then hollowed at end but she did you see she stuck her head up when yeah at the end then you had to change the rein and trot at X and we got 6.5 so not disastrous, and then this is where it also went a bit wrong. We went to canter at A left, straight into your 15 meter circle, and this is her worst rain, and I don't know why, she cantered on the wrong lead, and then I brought her back, and then I realised we were in the corner, and I was like, oh, it's meant to be a 15 meter circle. So yeah, we got five because of the canter, and then the circle was too big, which is very true. But then look here, she did come back, like she looks okay. Uh, then the medium, we got a six. But I was pleased with how she came back. I mean, we nearly came back to trot. But I was pleased with this last um, change the rain here. I thought she looked quite nice. We got a 6.5 for this. And then a 6.5 for our centre line. So I was pleased with this. She stayed quite forward at the end. And then we got a 6.5 for our halt with the comment not quite square, which I thought was a bit harsh because I think she was... I thought that's was, was a pretty good hold, but anyway, that was our dressage test. It wasn't a complete disaster, obviously lots to improve on, but for a novice test, it was okay. We've just got back from the dressage, and I think it went better than Aston, apart from the second canter she struck on the wrong lead, which was a bit of a shame, as we've seen, but um, she felt more forward, so hopefully she felt more forward. And getting nods. Um, yeah, she felt better, so we'll see. Fingers crossed for a sub 40, but it wasn't great. Like, the leg yield wasn't great. Um, but she stayed together and the halts were good, so I can normally rely on those. So, yeah, Jay's done a smiley face by dressage. And um, now we're just quickly getting ready to go to show jumping because it is late, it's already half four. So, we're just going to try and go. <laughs> we're trying to crack through them as quick as possible before it gets too dark so that is the quick roundup after dressage and now we're getting ready for show jumping
Sun. Well, this year, um, Princess, unfortunately, uh, parting company at the ALM. So, uh, please stay both on their feet. Unfortunately, Princess has uh, lost their bridle. Harrison Chart and Ballymore and Dicon had a stop at the AM at 11. They've decided to retire. and pizzazz uh, we have a couple of bright lights so they come down and they land on the thing but um, more uh, so down over the gold pile uh, now beyond that the the HA Griffiths and Services boat, so Pizzazz and Emery Marbles come into the water. Big jump over the pier from Pizzazz and Emery Marbles, so they're on to dry land. Dressage was 37.8, so we achieved our sub 40. 38.8, sorry. 38.8. Pretty good, though. Yeah, we'll have to. Oh, we're allowed to get our sheets because COVID's over, so I'll have to go and get my sheet and have a look. Do you want a drink? <laughs> One less pole than Aston, so all good. Good girl. And um, Jemima's pleased because I'm not crying after cross country. Can you hear me cheering you? I could after the water, yeah. Yeah. I could hear you. She and was very good girl. Well. Um, I think I could hear you. The barrelly one. 
Uh, maybe, I don't know. She jumped them really well. She did, that's what the um, jump judge said. Does Auntie Lucy Sad go away. Auntie Lucy said, did she? Is she all right? Was she all right? And she said that she, that she said that it, it was jump, it was the nicest, one of the nicest jumps I've seen all afternoon or something. Yeah, well, she was very good. We'll have to see what the times are because there was a hold. So my time stopwatch is pretty irrelevant. Well, very I pleased that she... Do, no. You know, I've never... <laughs> Go away! <laughs> so but I'm, um, yeah, she was a very good girl. She went good. So. Big improvement on Aston. Each phase was better than Aston. Oh, for God's sake, Dad! Polos. Oh, she wants his polos. There you go. Lots of treats. All the people taking her stuff. That's coming out. Studs are coming out. Jay's doing. Okay, fast forward, it's now Tuesday morning, if you hadn't guessed. Um, last time I spoke to you, we were at Wellington, I think we were just calling Zazie off after cross country and yeah, getting her ready to go home. But we didn't leave Welly till like seven and yeah, I was so tired. I still am very tired, but I, I yeah, I'm finishing it off this morning basically. Even though it was very late finish, late start and late finish, it was a very, very successful day. <laughs> Leo's gone very camera shy, um, but you'll find out why Leo is not wanting to come out because he's scared of rosettes. We got a rosette! Are you come out now? Do you want to see it? Why are you showing me up? He was scared a minute ago because I whipped it out of his face, but we came 10th, so that is like crazy. I didn't think we'd get placed. I wasn't going to be placed, um, but it seems that it was a very tough track both the show jumping and the cross country um was causing carnage basically the two that we had down i went back i was looking through the photos and um and the results and everyone well not everyone but all the poles were coming from those two green wellington fences pretty much i'm not sure why the ponies didn't like them because they were just two uprights but um they weren't jumping very well but yeah our clear cross country bumped us up um, to 10th. There were only seven clear show jumping in my section and um, only, yeah, not many finished like without problems on the cross country course. So I'm so pleased with Zazie. Want to see it now? So yeah, I, I can't believe that we got um, a rosette in Novice. I don't really know how many more events I'm going to do on her because as you guys know, she's 20 and this is our last, this was our last event of the season because um, I'm going back to uni soon. So I'm not really sure what next year has in store eventing wise for Zaz, but yeah, for our second ever B novice, what a turnaround from Aston, gone from eliminated to getting a placing. So I'm absolutely over the moon. Pretty sure I covered my dressage score. We got 38.5. So I'm thrilled with that because I was also rewatching it and I walked way too early, which I'm kicking myself for because you should have walked at sea and I walked like well, in the corner after the serpentine. I don't really know why I did that. That's annoying because that would have dropped our mark. We got a five for that, um, but never mind. Really chuffed with her and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to get as much footage as possible, <laughs> even though we had really late times. So we were just trying to go, go, go. But yeah, nice, pretty, frilly always makes a good day. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And that is the end of Wellington novice vlog and probably probably my last novice for a while because i'm not sure if i'm gonna do any more with her i don't want to break her um even though she is jumping really well i'm not sure yeah how if i am going to do any more novices but i am so happy that i managed to do it too this season it's been a long time goal to do them with zazie really pleased that we have done them so i will stop rambling i'm still really really happy and um yeah that is all Oh no, now he's scared of the rosette. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.